Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. We've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Carlos Alvarado Quesada, who is the president of Costa Rica. Mr. President, welcome to the studio. Oh, great being here. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about ICTs, obviously a, a priority for us, but I know the priority for you as well. I wanted to ask you, how have you made ICT development a priority for Costa Rica? Well, it's been a priority for the past uh, two decades or so. Why? Because in today's world, uh, inequality, it's not only about income inequality. It has to do a lot with knowledge and access. And that's today's world, uh, I believe, the, the main gap those who are included and those who are not included. So that's why we put so many effort on it, uh, making connectivity available, and we have increased it dramatically in the past years. Or in Costa Rica, for example, you have uh, two intelligent telephones per capita, or telephones per capita, mobiles. Uh, so access has uh, incremented, but also the skills. We have to work a lot on the skills of people in order to handle those kinds of uh, technologies. So we're, we're working a lot on it, and that is reflected in our, in our performance in, in the area. Talking about performance, uh, why does Costa Rica rank high for entrepreneurial activity, and what is uh, the Costa Rican government doing to support that? Well, it has a lot to do with access. Uh, previously, we have only one company that own the, the connectivity, then we open the market and there's competition still with the pri public company, but there are several competitors. Also, there was a fund established to finance connectivity and technology in areas where it was not present. So that's also uh, managing to level the playing field in order to, to have access in terms of telecommunications and, and technology. But there's still a way to go. And, but that's become a platform for small businesses to, to develop their activities. I do believe that next step is adding more value to what the small businesses are doing. And that has a lot to do with a knowledge-based society, uh, having more access to education, better education. Uh, but this platform is the one that fosters and triggers that possibility. And what, in your opinion, is Costa Rica's most important achievement regarding tech? Well, currently there are several achievements. For example, we in the 90s we managed to attract uh, the investment of Intel to Costa Rica, but from there currently we have more than 300 uh, tech-based companies in Costa Rica, which are very relevant for employment, but also, uh, for example, currently our main uh, export is medical devices, which is lot based a lot on technology. Also services from IT are very relevant and strong in Costa Rica. That's based a lot on strong education, bilingualism, and uh, knowledge on IT. What's the next step? We need to broaden that throughout the whole education system. We have 4,500 4, schools and high schools, which we are now currently connecting through a sole platform to have everybody access to the same kind of knowledge and bringing that to the school, high school level, the technical level, and obviously in the college and university levels. With that base, we can strongly build a society based on knowledge uh, and what we also want is to add value and own our own knowledge that we produce. So those are the next steps that we are triggering for, for now and the years to come. Now, talking about value, you've uh, come here to ITU. You've uh, taken the time to be here, graciously uh, visiting us. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of coming here to Geneva? Uh, are you uh, looking to uh, encourage uh, partnerships, investment, or uh, what, what are the main attractive elements here? Well, we've managed to make a very good connection between uh, uh, telecom, telecom, telecommunications, also with health and, for example, um, all related to patents and to knowledge. So that's an ecosystem that's working together and we, we managed to, to, to start building alliances on that. Also, we come here uh, regarding topics of refugees and migration. But there's lots of things related to technology and access that I'll, can we work with uh, those populations. It's a matter also of inclusion. So I think those topics are, instead of looking at reality from silos, it's looking at it from a whole holistic point of view. And whenever we do that in a more integral way, we, we get to, to intervene reality in order for good change to happen. Now, ITU has had a very good relationship with, with Costa Rica. I wanted to ask you specifically, what's the value of ITU for you? Well, our value has to do with knowledge, good practices, uh, 
uh, trying out the new things and getting the access to the latest. That's of the value for us. And also encouraging to, to take the lead on certain, on certain issues. So yeah, uh, actually the, it, it's, uh, it's for us it's very relevant to have this, this connection. Carlos Alvarado Quesada, President of Costa Rica, well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the very near future. No, thank you very much for having me. Thank you.